Hi, I'm retired General Dave Petraeus, a member of the Board of Trustees of the McCain Institute and someone who is privileged to have had a very close relationship with Senator McCain while in uniform as director of the CIA and then in post-government endeavors. And as we once again observe Veterans Day and Military Family Appreciation Month, I wanna offer a few reflections on the Senator, a great American hero who passed away some three years ago and the member of Congress who more than any other was absolutely tireless in his support for those who served our nation in uniform, for those who had served, and for the family members of each group as well. Senator McCain's final book was titled A Restless Wave. In truth, it might more accurately have been titled A Relentless Wave, for Senator McCain was truly relentless about the issues that mattered most to him. This was especially true when it came to the needs of our men and women in uniform, our veterans, and their family members. In fact, no one had the backs of our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines, our veterans, and their family members more than did Senator McCain. I was privileged to conclude my military career with six commands as a general officer, five of which were in combat, including the surge in Iraq, U.S. Central Command, and coalition forces in Afghanistan. Those positions provided a unique vantage point from which to observe that no one did more than Senator McCain to ensure that those in uniform had what they needed to prevail on the battlefields of the post 9-11 wars. No one visited them more in the war zones than he did. No one challenged policies that were not achieving the desired results more than he did. And no one did more to see to the needs of those who had served, our veterans, and their family members than he did. Senator McCain was truly unyielding in his advocacy and support, informed, of course, by the tradition of service of generations of the McCain family before him and after him, the latter including his two sons, both of whom served downrange with our forces after the attacks on 9-11. Senator McCain also understood from his own service that the greatest privilege in life is serving a mission larger than self, especially at a time of war. And he sought to convey his appreciation of those in combat after 9-11 by visiting our men and women in combat every chance that he had. I was deployed for eight of my final 11 4th of Julys in uniform. Senator McCain was with us in Iraq or Afghanistan for just about all of those and likely for the ones I missed as well, demonstrating through his presence and his words, his deep appreciation for those who served, all volunteers, of course, at a time of war. Senator McCain demonstrated the same deep appreciation for our veterans and their family members, especially those whose lives were changed by sacrifices in combat. Just as he sought to ensure that those in combat had all that they needed, he did the same for our veterans and their families, relentlessly holding the Departments of Defense and Veterans Affairs, as well as other departments and agencies to account. His oversight of such matters was unequaled on Capitol Hill. Senator McCain was highly respected for taking principled stands on critical issues, and his views carried enormous moral authority given his service as a highly decorated Navy pilot who was shot down on his 23rd mission over North Vietnam and then spent five years as a prisoner of war, during which he was tortured repeatedly, but refused the early release that was offered due to his father's four-star rank. In the end, he did not come home until his fellow POWs did. Our servicemen and women today stand on the shoulders of those who came before them. And because of the service of individuals like Senator McCain and many others who served in the ranks of our military, they stand very tall indeed. So as we celebrate Veterans Day and Military Family Appreciation Month, please join me in doing what Senator McCain did so relentlessly, thanking, embracing, and supporting our veterans and our military families in your lives and in your communities. Thank you very much.